Hi everybody, and thanks for stopping by. For the next hour and a half, two hours, I'm going to be sitting out here by the fire pit. I'm going to be making some Dutch oven lemon chicken. So let's get started. Charcoal is right where we want it. I'm going to get it in here so we can arrange it for the Dutch oven. So one of the things with the Dutch oven is you're not just setting it on all the coals. You want a certain number of coals under it. This one we're going to go about 8 to 10. The rest are going to be reserved to the side. And we're going to put about 15 on top, approximately. So we want to get these spread out. The ones that haven't fully lit yet, we're going to set to the side and let those come up to temp because we're probably going to have to add some as we go along. Got about an hour and a half cook here. And this is, you know, rough approximation. Eight to 10 underneath, if it's 12, that's not gonna hurt anything. You just don't wanna burn it. But we do wanna get it nice and hot. And we're gonna try and keep it over on this side so we can keep our reserved coals on the other side. I'm gonna go bring the Dutch oven and put it on. Set it right over these coals right here. We're going to let that start heating up before we add our oil and start browning up some chicken pieces. Okay, I'm going to use the lid lifter to remove the lid and set it on the lid holder. Okay, so I'm going to check the temperature in there. Let's see. Over 300, rising, 350, it's getting hot. So in just a minute, I'm gonna start browning up these chicken pieces. Just gonna add a little bit of oil to this, not that much, we don't need much. So I'm gonna brown these chicken pieces just a little bit on their skin side, take them out and put them in a foil pan while I arrange everything else in the Dutch oven for the longer cook. Just browning these up a little bit. Not going crazy. See, we just want a little bit of color on that. Let's get our leg quarters in there. Brown up a little bit. Now the seasoning on this is really simple. It's paprika, garlic powder, black pepper, and a little bit of salt. That's it. We're gonna add lemon to it once we have everything in there to make our lemon Dutch oven chicken. I don't know if you can hear that sizzle, but it sounds good. Okay, so let's check our chicken here. Our leg quarters. That looks perfect. Just a little bit of brown, that's all we want. Now it's time to start building our base in here, which is gonna be the potatoes and some onions jammed in there. The potatoes are gonna help keep the chicken off the bottom so it doesn't get completely charred, but these are gonna get a nice crispiness to them. Throw some of our green onions in there. These are actually, I think they're, I'm not sure what kind of these are. They're not exactly green onions. I think they're called Mexican onions. I'm not 100% sure. My wife picked them up. Now we are going to get our chicken back in here. I 
we're going to add our carrots and a few little tomatoes. Let those all get down around there. Everything's going to add juice here. We don't need to add any water or anything else. Now I'm just going to brave this heat and squeeze some lemon juice in here. We're just going to throw the lemons right in there. If seeds get in, don't worry about it. You can pick through them on the plate. We're going to do three whole lemons here. What I would do is just try and move the lemons off to the side like this because you're going to want the heat from the lid to hit the top of the chickens as much as possible in the center. All right. Push everything down. Just got to make sure our lid gets on there. All right, time to get the lid on and stack our coals. Now we're going to want about 15 or more coals on top here. There's a chance we may have to light some more coals to keep this going underneath, but it's part of this, part of the experience of Dutch oven cooking. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's put about four more. I want this top to be nice and hot. Okay, about every 15, 20 minutes, we're going to be rotating the lid about 90 degrees and adding coals as necessary. So I'll bring you back when we do some rotating and then also when we open it up and check how the chicken's doing. Okay, I'm gonna turn this lid 90 degrees now. And when I did that, it opened a little bit and boy, it smells good. We gotta turn it a few more times, and then we'll be opening it up at about the hour mark to check it. And it's getting dark out here, so it's actually a lot darker than the camera shows. So you'll be seeing lights and things, and the video might look a little different, but it smells really good, I can tell you that. So we have our little pile of backup coals there to add as needed, but I'm here, still hearing some good bubbling and sizzling inside, so I don't think we need to add anything else yet. I'll check underside in a little bit. Okay, we're just about ready to rotate our lid again. I added a few coals underneath. Another 90 degrees. Let's take a peek. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> I know that's cheating. All right, can you guys see me? Did any of you watch my video about my three favorite accessories? Headlamp, I'm using it. Okay, it's time to pop this lid off and have a look at what's inside. See how our chicken and everything's doing. Just gonna leave the coals on it while I set it on the lid holder. It's gotta be careful here. Oh, that's looking nice. That is looking very good. Just wanna check some of this temps here and see how we're doing. Oh yeah, that is, I think we are done. <laughs> oh yeah, we are done. Okay, so I am gonna transfer this out of here. We're gonna move it over to a table and we are gonna dig in. All right, time to lift this out, transfer it for eating. That is looking very, very good. We're just about ready to dig in. Oh, this smells wonderful. We're gonna get all the chicken out of there so we can get down to the potatoes and the onions and everything. Look at that chickeny, juicy goodness. My wife is doing the honors here of pulling everything out of there, so. Thank you, Irene. All right, we are set to dive into this. I'm second, my wife's already started. So let's see how this tastes. I'm actually gonna start with potatoes because I love potatoes. Mmm. Oh boy, those are good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That lemon flavor. Mmm. -hmm. Let's see. Mmm. See, I put extra juice in. 
Let me get one of these little tomatoes that kind of stewed in there. Mmm. That was really good. This is good. Mmm. If you don't have a Dutch oven, I'd say get one. I'll put a link down in the description so you can see which one I have. You can check it out. Mmm. Oh, this is just really good. Plus, we'd have to heat the house up using the oven. Mmm. Hope you enjoyed this video and watching me cook and eat Dutch oven lemon chicken with my wife here. If you did enjoy the video, give it a like. It sure does help. And if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. That way you'll get notifications whenever I put out a new video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great night. And I'll see you again soon.